Hi Leo, welcome to this reading. This is for Leo Sun, Moon and Rising. Um, you might find it resonates more if Leo is your Moon or Rising sign. Um, with the world in the reverse, the Page of Cups, the Ten of Swords in reverse, Wow, what is going on here? Something is coming to a close. Something needs to come to a close. And in the middle of this, we have some maybe kind of small, casual conversation. It's almost like, you know, your person might be going through something quite big right now and they're trying to carry on as though um, everything is fine. You see how this person's got their headphones on. You know, the building is not burning down around me. It's all good. What else, please? Also, if we break these down, 12, that's not a 12, is it? <laughs> no, it's a 21. Same thing. If we break it down, we get 3. Um, and if we break this down, 10, we get a 1. So a 1 and a 3 is 13, which is the death major arcana in tarot. So some kind of ending, change, transition. The 8 of 1s in the reverse. Three of Wands. If you have pulled away from your person, and I know that won't be for everyone, but um, if you have, it's like they're saying, nope, I do not want to accept that. I'm going to close my eyes, pretend I don't know you've walked away, and I'm going to manifest you back. So if some of your person is manifesting you in, for some of them, I think we saw this in Friday's reading, the thing that's going is a commitment, whether it's to a karmic, a spouse, um, parents, family, religion, a job here. <clears throat> and they're in the process of transitioning away from this, transitioning out of this. We have Taurus energy as well. Yeah, so we've got Aquarius on the back. Um, your person seems to be going through a rough time, and of course this could be you, but... Um, <clears throat> Something is being taken away from them with the world here. Spirit saying it's enough. This is not serving you anymore. We're, we're shutting this down for good. For me, the world is, this, this cycle will not repeat. It's over. It's done with. You know, you will never go through this experience with this same person again. So something is, is being removed. Um, your person is yet to tell you about this. I feel that once this has gone completely, they're going to want to build something stable with you, with the three of coins being here. Okay, so let's have more of a look. Page of Cups. Pages, it's a very young energy. So um, there could be an age difference here between you and your person, one way or the other. But I feel it's more that when it comes to this particular situation, your person is saying, I feel quite inexperienced. I feel that the, the situation is actually overwhelming me. So um, if your person's being quiet, please don't take it personally. I think they are dealing with a, a massive ending. With the world, it could be something karmic, it could be a life lesson. Um, ooh, let's see what this is. Ten of Cups. Okay, so I think this, the, what the world, whatever the world is closing out, yeah, Two of Cups on the back, it's leading the person to a great deal of happiness, a lot more than they've experienced or been experiencing for some time. Um, there could be a connection with a soulmate that's disappearing for your person. So remember, soulmates can be romantic, but they can be anybody. It could be a friend, family member, it could be your dentist. You know, you never know when a soulmate is going to pop up and teach you something. And not everything that we learn is pleasant in the moment. Um, but I do feel your person is, is being guided towards you it's like spirit is clearing obstacles blockages out of the way and look what just slid out the ace of coins mm. but there's some sadness here you see on the the coin there's an eye with a tear we also have some messages i feel that that um for many of you this won't be a brand new connection because you see we have the letter down here torn in half so you may have had different cycles here in terms of your communication and look the skull so as I was saying, death. So we could have Scorpio energy here. But it's been like sometimes communication has been great. Other times it's been difficult. Sometimes your person was going to send you a message and then they pulled back. Okay. So why is your person in this page of cups energy? Zoning out a little. What's going on here? The eight of swords. And look again, see? They're not listening. They're not looking. 
three of pentacles in the reverse yeah for some of you they feel that maybe you sort of stepped away and they don't want to know that the nine of pentacles and again seven of swords wow so one of the ways in which spirit is removing this situation from them um is by showing your person a betrayal or a secret something they didn't know about something that once they find out they're going to say well i can never go back you know um i can't simply sit here and pretend anymore because what you've done this other person in this situation is too <clears throat> excuse me too outrageous So your person could be, it could be karma balancing. Um, if they, you know, did something to betray you, they could be experiencing the same. They could just be dealing with someone who's not particularly nice, you know, whether, like I said, it's romance, family, work, um, who's been doing shifty things and it's pushing your person to become independent of that situation. Okay, Ten of Swords, Hierophant, please. Okay, Page of Swords in the reverse. There's a real energy here of your person saying, I, I'm just going to switch off. I'm just going to detach. Page of Cups in the reverse. It's almost like they're numbing before they fully, you know, look at everything that's going on here. Two of Pentacles, yes. You know, probably because they're feeling overwhelmed. They're feeling betrayed, overwhelmed. You see how we, again, we have the two coins with the two tears. And on top we have the sun. So this person's trying to show others everything's great, everything's perfect, my life is just how I want it. But but inside they're really going through it. And look, everything they planted is dying. If you have a look at the flowers at the bottom. So if your person went away and you know favored something else over your connection it's, it's just not working out maybe they thought it was going to look like this you know all of these flowers that are growing they're strong okay eight of wands reverse three of pentacles six of wands in the reverse so one of the reasons that your person is saying you know they want to work with you they want to build with you but now isn't the time is that they feel really really small i think their ego has taken a massive hit because of this other situation that's ending maybe that betrayal they found out about um they don't think that they would be successful in coming forward to you i think they're just feeling very down very insecure you know as if they came towards you now you'd say why would i want you you know you're not impressing me right now and i'm sure you wouldn't say that but um that is just sort of how they're feeling we have the knight of pentacles and what i felt when i looked at this is your person saying i know I have led you on a wild goose chase. I know I've been, you know, verbally, energetically, physically promising you something for the longest time, you know, leading you on in a sense. And or rather, it feels like I've been leading you on and I've not been delivering. So I think there's some embarrassment, some shame, some guilt around that as well. The Hermit in reverse. See, the thing is, it's like they're saying, I am coming out. I am coming out to talk, to move this forward. But you've heard this before. So they would rather at this point just do it, you know, rather than, than telling you. And we have on the back, we've got the devil in reverse. So Capricorn energy, but anything that has been tying your person up, keeping them in a low vibration, preventing them from ascending in, in their lives, in their thoughts, in their hearts, that's being taken away. Okay, let's see what else. I feel there's more here. So we know something is being taken away. Let's see what they're thinking. What are they thinking about you and your connection? Because there is definitely some sort of a sense of escaping, wanting to be in a bit of like a fantasy land. Um, but how do they feel? What are they thinking about you and your connection?
Knight of Cups, so very romantic, Nine of Wands in reverse, saying they feel there's something they're going to have to fight through to get to you. We've got the Tower, um, and they, they don't quite think they have the strength, so we know that. What else? Page of Pentacles in the reverse. Some of them, they could be dealing with issues around children, and that's one of the reasons they can't just quickly come towards you. <clears throat> Yeah, the Nine of Pentacles, it's almost like they're saying, well, if I become single, I might lose my children, or it's going to affect children, or something like that, so I've got to do this carefully, um, it's pretty heavy, it's pretty serious, I'm feeling kind of exhausted, as well, if they have children, and, you know, they've got, like, um, an ex that they're not with, or several, they could be feeling pushed and pulled in many directions here, so someone's quite busy. What do they think, and how do they feel with these about my viewer? Three of Swords, wow. <clears throat> Excuse me. If it is a third party situation in terms of another person, um, this is something they're thinking about that's weighing on them, that's that's upsetting them. Page of Swords in reverse. So they are watching you, they're fantasizing about you. And in tomorrow's video, we'll have a look at what exactly they're fantasizing about. Yeah, they feel that right now they've not necessarily got enough to, to bring to you. And what they're wanting is the Ten of Coins. So that's pretty heartbreaking for them. You know, that's why we have that Three of Swords. I do think they're going to have this Ace of Coins to bring once they're completely at the other side of this ending. What do they want with my viewer, please? What does this person want with my, view with my viewer? The Knight of Swords. A frank, honest conversation about with the King of Cups their feelings their love for you okay so maybe they've been very guarded um you know with their feelings in the past they haven't really expressed these at all now they're saying look I, I, you know i'm working up to telling you and when i've got that courage as soon as i've got it i'm just going to spill everything before i lose my courage so your person finally wants to talk about you know hidden feelings here because look four of swords they've been quiet for much too long okay so let's get some more insight into what's going on Ooh, we have Peacock, let yourself stand out and be noticed. So this is what your person is not doing. They're hiding themselves away. I think in the past they did this in your connection, but it was from a place of ego, posturing. It wasn't true, um, you know, confidence here. I think the second thing became tough or they faced a challenge, your person may have shied away. We have dog. Mm. Your loyalty and faithfulness is misplaced by serving too many masters. I think your person is incredibly busy. And I also think even if there's only one person they've been committing to, whoever that person is, romantic or otherwise, you know, personal or professional, um, this person has betrayed them. Whereas your person has tried to be loyal. Even if they weren't loyal in terms of, of their feelings about this personal situation, every day they showed up, they put time, money, effort. There was some sort of commitment here and your person has been um, betrayed. Blue Heron, make a stand for what you believe in and do what feels right in spite of any judgment or disapproval from others. Yes, exactly. And that's what your person wasn't doing before. Like I said, they were posturing, but the second, you know, things got a bit tough um, and they really needed to pull through, I, I think they pulled back. Not anymore. Okay. So let's get some guidance for you from the Archangels. So what messages do you have for my viewers, please? We have Claire Cognizance. Pay attention to your thoughts and ideas. Sorry, pay attention to thoughts and ideas that come to you as they are answered prayers. So, um, if you keep having a, a you know a recurring thought or even a dream, it might be worth noting it down and um, giving it time to sort of percolate in your mind and to see is this an answer actually that you've been looking for? Maybe this is inspiration that's coming from outside of you. <clears throat> we have nurture. As you nurture a child, you nurture your own inner child. Both activities are important for you right now. Okay, so do you need to spend time you know doing a bit of self care? 
um, if there are children or even anybody who has a youthful energy you know a childlike joyful energy it might be really helpful really nice to be around that person um all those people this tells me that you're you're you know maybe a caretaker you really give a lot to others and spirits saying it's time to replenish your energy i do have a free meditation on my website for reclaiming your energy if you want to check that out that's linked below we have indigo and crystal children. You have a bond. Ah, you have a bond with children. In particular, you can help children who are sensitive. So you may literally have an indigo or a crystal child. But again, more um, energy of taking care of yourself, connecting to that joyful energy within you, you know, the, the childlike um, intrigue, curiosity, creativity. Children, when they're creating stuff, aren't doing it because they, you know, it's like, the next step towards building a career or or you know redoing something that's lasting they do it because in the moment it feels good so um where when and where you can try to take the pressure off and do things just because it feels good okay so let's get one of these cards so you can use these um in any manifestations you're doing there's like manifestation prompts and you, you know, just take inspiration from the message because sometimes they're quite um, outlandish. Um, of course, if you want, you can do it exactly. Okay, what is the best message, please? What's the best message for my viewers at this time, Spirit? Okay, let's see. We have Love Spell. Song of the Siren spell. You know, I mean, look how many cards we have in this deck. It's incredible to me that we seem to sort of get the same 10 on repeat. Okay, mermaids and sirens are extremely erotic symbols and each one of us can conjure their power. Buy a pound of sea salt at the grocery store and place it in a bowl with 10 drops of jasmine and neroli or ylang ylang essential oil. Mix them together. Instead of a shower in the morning, take a bath with your siren salts. While submerged, visualize that you are turning heads with your mesmerizing mermaid beauty and silence. When ready, rise up and do not comb or towel dry yourself or your hair. Drip dry naturally as you go through the day. Sorry, not drip dry as you go through the day. <laughs> drip dry naturally, full stop. As you go through the day, do more listening than talking. The compliments and attention will amaze you. Okay, let me try and get this to focus. Ooh. Hold on. Okay. Hopefully that's okay. So this seems to me to be saying, again, indulge yourself, take care of yourself. And this isn't about chasing, pursuing, actively speaking. So I think communication is coming into you, movements coming towards you. And I just think it's because you've laid the groundwork. You've already done and given so much of yourself. And now, of course, this is just a random ass reading on YouTube. So make it work for you um, and take, you know, whatever works for you from this, leave the rest. And if you feel you're guided to, you want to take action, go for it. Um, but yeah, otherwise, I hope this has helped. I'm doing the one question, one card now. So we'll dive into that. Um, and I think that's everything. Thank you for watching. Thank you for spending your time with me. Like I said, if you haven't voted, please do, because I'll be doing that bonus reading tomorrow. Um, yeah, and that's it. And um, we'll do our normal Wednesday's message, their messages to you on Wednesday. Okay, so today's winner of the one question, one card. Now, I know I do how to pronounce this, so I hope it's not terribly wrong. It's maybe Asian, Asazam? 78 sorry i think i've butchered that but your question is do i continue to be patient and wait so let's see Spirit. what message do you have please oh my goodness this to me is a clear no four of swords in reverse so i feel spirit is saying no do not continue to be patient and wait definitely if you're if you want to keep hold of this person to keep them you know um to be available open to them hold space you know make space within your heart but you know um if you've been keeping anything on hold saying well i won't move yet or i won't do this or i won't do that just in case spirit saying no 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 <clears throat> 
Absolutely not. The Four of Swords, I think you, you've really given this person a lot of time, you know, um, to come forward or to do whatever you need to doing. So this isn't spirit saying cut them out, but definitely don't keep yourself waiting. Um, because I feel as well with the Four of Swords, you may have needed a period of time to recover, to recuperate, but now I do feel that you're ready to move forward. Yeah, look at this. The Seven of Coins, you've given so much time. Um, you've invested so much and uh, I think you know I think this person needs to step up and show you that they recognize this and um, that they have or are willing to also invest equally but I, I feel this is a no you know so making space um, keep a hold of the connection unless it feels good to release it you know don't force yourself either way but um, this certainly isn't about waiting yeah, I think, you know, you've been waiting a long time for some kind of foundation, some kind of stability here, but it hasn't emerged with the number four but in the reverse. Let's get one more card. Yeah, five of cups. So also, I'm glad we got one more card because Spirit's saying, as you are feeling like you're waiting, there's something great behind you, you know, that something available for you in your life right now that you're not seeing. And by saying, okay, let me not wait, let me move forward, this, these two cups, you know, they're going to um, reveal themselves to you and that's going to really change things up in a positive way. Um, this could well be your person, your connection coming through once you decide, as is the way, forget it, I'm, I'm moving forward or I'm not going to wait. Um, and even if it's not your person, it's definitely an incredible uh, soulmate connection, whether it's romantic or otherwise. Okay, excellent. So thank you so much, everyone. Take care. Um, let me know which video you want to see tomorrow and uh, we will speak again then. Bye.